Always a pleasure to have you with us, folks. This one's all about showing you why I decided to get into Facebook early in the day and why it was in the, in the watch list. After we saw a big gap down on SPY, which provided us with a scary morning when we woke up, market was a little afraid of the FOMC minutes coming out at two o'clock. Now, what I look for is of course we're dropping, but I'm, I'm looking for something that has a support. Look at this Facebook support. Um, let me show you this. Here was resistance. It kept on rejecting the resistance and then we had earnings and then it popped. Um, it had a slow drift down all the way on this 305-ish line, then rejected it here, then support, and it went up. And now we're back down on this. I hope you all see this common denominator here at the 305 line. And this 305 line, get rid of this here for a second, this 305 line is where we are at support at the open. I'm going to hide the rest of the day just so it doesn't get confusing. Now, this is the first thing I look for. We're on support. Either we lose that support and then we drop down to the 300 area, or we bounce on it and we move up. Now, what will determine whether I'm bearish or bullish is I'll look on the one hour chart at, this is the MACD, the first one here, but I really like to look at the stochastic. Look how low it is. Now, if you don't trust me on this, we were down to minus 90 something, minus 95 ish or so. So basically what it's telling you is we're very down at the bottom of the um, oversold area. It needs to rebalance in order to continue down because it won't start going down right away. It'll need, it will need to rebalance. Now, this is the RSI that was also below three, uh, the 30 zone. So I like to look at that say, seeing that we're really down extended to the lower part of the, um, the, the, uh, the stochastic. Um, so this tells you we need to rebalance. It might at one point go up or stay flat. The rebalance sometimes will show you a flat line and then it will continue going down. But holding the um, the 305 line was the key for a, uh, a bump up. And let me switch this to the five minute chart. So my point was this, look at this 305. I'm going to stall it right here. This 305 is all what's happening pre-market. It's really holding. Yes, it's breaking under it just before the bell, but I fear that, uh, and I really feel that when this happens, some people are actually loading up and I decided to get in on this first jump higher than this line here and then we tested the 305 and we remained on that 305 for a move up now this was a very quick entry it wasn't a watch list and we ended up selling at um 102 percent on half of the position so we took next week's position 325 calls um, very early in the day here at the 70 cents. And I sold for 102% half of the position later on that move up. We could have gone down here, reject the line. Let me get rid of all this. Could have moved like this, reject it and move back down. However, there was, this was highly 
highly improbable because of the stochastic on the one hour that needed to be rebalance in order to stay um, on um, to, to continue a move down because it was too extended. So things that, that I like to look for are on a gap down like this, the opportunities. And what are they when on support? And look at the one hour chart. And also I like to combine RSI and stochastic to see who's extended. Are we at the lows? Are we at the high? Are we in the middle? In the middle, I don't touch it. If it's not on support, I don't touch it. If the RSI is in the middle, nah, I'll, I'll, I'll look for something else. But in this case, everything was way down and we had a very good chance of popping up. Now, the reason for going not this week, but next week was to keep some value in the premiums. And when we see that there's a big gap down, you'll see a lot of people are a little afraid at this point. They were bullish early in the week. Now they are a little bearish or they don't really like the fact that they're holding um, calls in the wrong direction. So there are deals to be made right at the gate. People are flushing out cheap premiums so it's a nice place to to get in next week we'll keep some premiums uh, the value in the premium if we go the wrong way and going 325 was a target remember we had 330s we played 330s this week 325 was well within a possible target so the reason for it was cheap achievable and we ended up having um, no or virtually no uh, theta hurting our play. So again, look for opportunities on a gap down uh, on the rest of the market. As, as long as we may remain on support, make sure the one hour chart shows you RSI and stochastic that are way down on the bottom and aim for a strike that is within possibilities and make sure to always always leave some runners on but take some hat take some off the table to make sure you protect your account i hope this helps folks and thanks for watching